So obviously I check out a ton of Bluetooth speakers, but uh, these ones in front of me have been some of my favorites uh, for the past couple years actually. So these are the Marshall Willen speakers. <laughs> Here they have finally come out with their Gen 2, or I guess the Willen 2. This is it, and in my initial unboxing when I took this one out, I know that I've looked at these uh, before. I got actually a sneak peek when I went to uh, South by Southwest earlier in the year in Austin, Texas, but doing the official unboxing, it actually comes with some nice accessories, an actual Marshall cable. It's actually a nice little touch, and it actually does come in two different colorways, just like the first gen. We still have black and cream. And like I said, on first glance, it's pretty hard to tell the difference. So we'll put the older ones away. And when I was at uh, South by Southwest, and if you've never been, it's kind of like a combination of a music festival, they display art, uh, education, obviously some tech. It's actually a great place to uh, introduce these. I got to chat with the Marshall executive team. They actually had something called the Marshall Fun House, just a fun activation to showcase some of their new products. Obviously their iconic amp line, we got to see a lot of great artists. And it was just all about the music, had a ton of fun, and of course, that's where I got to test out some of their new products. They are now officially available. We have the full on retail boxes, so you can pick these up. What is new with the Gen 2, or I guess the Willen 2s, is a slight little redesign. So actually compared to the first gen, you can see that they have this outer lip that covers the front grill, just gives it a bit more extra protection. That's just in case you end up dropping it, but even in the couple years that I've had uh, the first gen Willen, it still performs great. I actually keep these speakers or bring them with me when I travel since they're so small. I actually keep them a lot in my golf bag when I'm out on the course. And if you actually look back at some of my content, I typically recommend these in some of my best tech episodes, under a hundred bucks, my gift guide episodes, they are just so solid. And everyone that I've recommended these to has loved them. They're just small, compact, but they don't compromise on any of that sound. So the second feature that I guess has been upgraded is actually just some of the buttons up top. Compared to the first Will, and you can see that it now has a dedicated on and off button and a separate Bluetooth uh, pairing button. When you can turn it on, you can see the uh, battery life or how much uh, juice it has. And of course it is now going to be pairing to your device easily pairable to any sort of smartphone. As a quick example, I will just pair it quickly to my iPhone. And you can see there that it's paired in a couple seconds and the first gen Willen uh, is actually just above it. So since I won't be using that anymore, I can just uh, forget that device and I am now just paired to the Willen too. And if this is the first time you're actually seeing a Marshall Bluetooth speaker, they have that very iconic Marshall look. So Marshall got really famous with their amp line uh, back in the day. You used to see some of the most famous musicians like Jimi Hendrix rocking out to them, their amps that were uh, on stage at concerts. They still obviously do that. And now that signature style has kind of transferred down to their audio lineup. So not only did they sell Bluetooth speakers, but they've got headphones, earbuds, all things audio related. The Willen 2 looks like a mini amp, but it still has a 17 plus hours of battery life. Spec wise, it's got two 38 watt class D amplifiers, a 10 watt full range driver and two passive radiators. And since you'll typically be pairing this via Bluetooth to your smartphone, the Willen 2 also has a built in microphone. So you can now technically use this as a phone and you don't need to use your smartphone separately. So it just has a couple extra features. It's just made it a bit better and it still has that little signature strap, which I actually like. So say you're in a golf cart, you can kind of strap this around, around a pole. You can actually strap this uh, pretty much onto anything or it can be used as just a little strap carrying case to clip this onto your backpack. And usually when I recommend this speaker as the perfect little tech gift, it's also dust and water resistant. So like I said, my previous ones have held up very well no matter where I've taken them. You can take these things to the beach, to the pool, whatever your like daily life is, I think they make like the perfect portable speaker. And as an example, if you just play music from your phone, Right now off of my podcast, I'm like a big electronic music fan. This is, you know, volume or music that comes out through a phone. The depth isn't really there, but when I pair that to the Willen, you can obviously hear that extra depth, that extra clarity in the bass. Obviously across uh, any music genre that uh, you like to listen to, always go with the speaker than playing music out of your smartphone. It's like the tech sin to do that. And if you're looking to get a speaker that packs a bit more of a punch to get more of a signature sound in depth, you can move on to their new 
Ember Tint 3. So this is replacing the Ember Tint 2 naturally. It comes in the two colorways, the black as well as the cream. And this features Marshall's signature sound with dynamic loudness. And that adjusts the tonal balance of the audio to ensure whatever music sounds that you uh, listen to, they're kind of brilliant or good at any volume. And as a side little note, this is the upgrade to one of my most prized possessions. This is actually the OG Ember Tint 2. They did a collab with Pada, this uh, Dutch uh, company actually. So obviously this is all orange. They've got some of the Caribbean inspired inspired colors on the grill. And this actually lives up on my orange wall, but uh, this is actually why I was so pumped for the new Ember Tint 3, uh, just because of this special piece right here. So unlike the Will and 2, the Ember Tint 3 has true stereophonic sound. These have the two 10 watt drivers, which gives you double the power than the Willens. And since these have spatial audio, it almost makes it feel like you're listening to a true audio experience or like you're living in the moment when you're at a concert or listening to your favorite artist live. You know that that sound has a different kind of feel than listening once again to a phone, to a smaller speaker. This will just give you a lot more depth. So the actual design is once again, very similar to the Ember Tint 2. Same little changes to the on and off button and dedicated Bluetooth button. And you have the multi-directional control button to kind of skip forward, increase and decrease the volume, which I'm always a fan of. And obviously that iconic uh, Marshall look, this just is in a larger size and a larger form factor than the smaller Willen. So with that exercise, you'll get more battery life. So these will last over 32 hours of music playback. These also have the built-in microphone, so you can use them when on call. And all of these speakers are now built with a Bluetooth LE or a low energy just to give you that extra battery life and to kind of last all day. And I'll do a quick little audio test here. So once again, I'll just pair this to uh, my phone. Same kind of thing. I can just turn this on. Audio is like one of those really hard things to portray over video, but uh, definitely this sounds richer, more full. It's kind of just your choice now to uh, have the larger form factor, or if you'd like the smallness and compactness of the Willen 2. So pricing wise, $169. That's USD to $119 for the Willen 2s. Both options are pretty solid. And honestly, since I have four of these speakers, I don't need all of them. I will be giving uh, some these away so make sure you comment down below let's do something cool like uh, you know what your favorite music genre is what you would listen to these two maybe where you would go with them since they're all water and dust resistant um, hope you guys enjoyed this video finally happy to share this as a south by southwest was so much fun and they are now finally available so of course links will be listed down below for sure my favorite bluetooth speaker uh for the year and i hope you guys enjoyed this one and i will catch the rest of you in one of my next vids Peace.